Hey guys, I am here to do a quick review of the Digital Concepts Close-Up Macro Lens Set. This is for 58mm, as shown right here. And this will work on any camera with a 58mm uh, lens at the end. That's the filter size. So, you get these four lenses right here. You get the 1X, the 2X, the 4X, and the 10X. And it cost me about $15 with shipping. They'll all come in this uh, close-up bag. Close-up lens type bag, my bad. And they each have a pouch, which this whole thing isn't very soft. It's actually pretty rough. So I don't think you'd want to keep them in here. You should probably just store them by stacking them, like I'll show you in a little bit. So here are the four lenses. You can tell... Um, just by going like this and holding them up, how much they're going to magnify it by. Like a quick preview. See, that one's drastically different, because that's the 10. So, let's try out the four different things on this penny. So, let's, so let's try out these four different lenses on this penny. First, let's try the kit lens I have. Let's zoom it in all the way and focus it as close it'll go. Oops, wrong way. There we go. And let's bring this penny up. There, 1980 penny, Nald glory, and God we trust. No one likes pennies, but here it is. All right, here's a test with the 1X. As you can tell, it's not much different than the regular considering it's only 1X. Um, alright, on to the next ones. Something I'm going to add to this is the build quality. The build quality of these isn't too high. Um, I have a, another filter that I have on my 1.8 FD lens and it is a superior quality. It just feels like nice in your hand. These, uh, it's really blurry, but these right here, they don't feel as nice. These feel kind of cheaply made because they are quite cheap. So I have the 2X on right now. Let's go to the penny. A little closer. All right, and on to the 4X. All right, so here is the 4X. It is slightly bigger than the first two, but not as big as the 10X right here. The 10X is drastically different, as you will see in a minute. So here is the penny. Seems a lot closer. And the back. All right, on to the final 10X. All right, the 10X is attached, so let's see just how close up we can get with this. Look at that. It's pretty close. You can see all the detail in his face. Um, it's not the highest quality, considering uh, these are just cheap pieces of glass you attach to the front of the lens. So your experience may differ with the lenses you use. And I think these come in different brands also. And you can get them in different uh, filter sizes. I know there's like 52 and so on. So this is, this is pretty awesome. You can see the little dude right in the middle. Mr. Abraham. Alright, on to all of them stacked on top of each other. All right, now with them all on top of each other, I just want to have something to point out. Uh, you can just see how thick it actually is with all of them together. But then on the 4X, or the plus 4, I noticed that you actually... Mine came with a lot of... See those silver dots? Mine came with quite a bit of those already on there, and I know I didn't drop these or anything. So it's just kind of confusing to me how those got there. So, all right, I will put this on and show you the penny again. So, theoretically, if you add all these together, it should be 10 plus 4, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 times zoom. And let's try to screw this on. Uh, I actually have difficulty putting the filters on sometimes because I don't want to cross the threads. And it just seems really, really easily to cross the threads with these, the cheap ones. And yet, it hasn't happened to me with the other uh, filters that I have. 
All right. So all of them are on. You can see just how blurry my hand is. And let's zoom in all the way. And to the penny. Do do do. Look how close we are. Quite a shallow depth of field also. As you can see, it's almost nothing. There's just barely anything in focus. It's difficult to get it in focus. And the back. Let's look at that. So overall, for $15, it is fun to use. They're fun to have. Um, do I advise anyone to buy them? Uh, yeah, if you want to get some cheap macro pictures and your lens isn't capable of it. I have the 18-55 to right now on my camera and it can actually do some decent macro and I'm fine with that but I would like to have dedicated uh, lens but when that day comes I will probably continue to use these so thank you for watching please write comment subscribe and goodbye